Welcome to Tea on the Catio. So I'm going to sit here, I'm going to drink a cup of tea, um, and I'll quickly tell you a little bit about the cats um, that pass by or hang around on the table. We've got two here right now. Hmm. Okay, so let me quickly explain. I've got a little handheld camera as well, so I can try to get some of the good views that you won't get to see on the on the cameras on the stands. So, where should we start? Who should we start with? Let's start with this fella right here who's reaching out for me. Okay, so this is six. So six is uh, male. He's only he's quite young. He only must be a year or probably less than a year old. Um, his story is: I was driving home one day, and he was lying on the side of the road. Um, I thought he was dead, but he was just in really bad condition. He was only a tiny little kitten. Um, he was struggling to breathe. He. Uh, he had an infection in his eye, or both his eyes actually, I don't think he could see. And so I put him, I just thought, a little bit of um, care will look after him, a bit of love, a bit of care will look after him. So I picked him up from the street, um, brought him to the house, and put him in the cage in the garage. Because obviously I didn't want to, he, he looked like he had lots of uh, infection, so I didn't want to pass any of that on. So um, I put him in the cage in the garage. My health started to deteriorate. I took him to the vets. I remember really struggling finding a vet to take him to at the time. It must have been during a during a national holiday. But I found a vet that we don't normally go to in Block M. Um, I told the vet exactly what if he needs to be put down because he's not going to live. Then I can pay for all that. Just put him out of his misery. Um, the, the vet said um, let's keep him for a couple of days would you be okay with that because obviously I'm paying for all this I said yeah okay because I don't want to see him die and I said you give him a couple of days let's see if he improves and he, he improved he improved a lot um, and so obviously I didn't have him put down I had him brought into um, the house we looked after him he um, he um, had his vaccinations, and he's been with us ever since. The reason he's called six is because he's been through a lot, and if a cat has nine lives, um, then he's used up three of them. Is this working for you? I'm sitting forward. <laughs> so this cat here with me right now. She's called Smokey. Um, she's actually a kitten of one of the cats that was that we found abandoned. So her mum, which we called Yoda, because she had huge ears, tiny little head, huge ears. Um, we were in our old house, um, in the back of our old house, and we could hear this little kitten screaming it must have been so hungry um, so I went out and had a look and came back with a box because as always they're put in boxes um, with dry food that they're far too young to eat um, with this tiny little red ginger kitten who we called Yoda um, Yoda was great um, so we uh, Yoda is one of the first kittens that we took in off the street um, with the idea to get adopted um, 
Yoda stayed with us about a year, maybe a little year longer, and then Yoda was finally adopted. Um, but we did tell the family that were adopting her that she'd not been sterilized. We did make that really clear that um, Yoda had not been sterilized and that the first thing they need to do is sterilize her. To cut a long story short, we then get a WhatsApp message telling us that Yoda is now pregnant um, after she'd been adopted by this family and that we um, need to pay for her sterilization. And so, to cut a long story short, we did pay for her sterilization because we didn't want even more kittens to come along. And we said rather than them abandoning Yoda's kittens on the street, like so many other kittens, we'll take them and we'll try to find um, foster homes or adoption forever homes for them. We didn't want to do that. We thought that would be the best thing for Yoda's kittens. And so, well, there was five. Was there five? Yeah, there was five or six um, kittens brought in. There was three ginger, um, one smoky, and one calico. Um, and so we looked out, we took in Yoda's uh, kittens. What then happened over Christmas time is some sort of virus managed to get into um, our house. And to cut a long story short, and I will probably tell you the story another time, um, it wiped out three, four, five, six. It wiped out eight of our cats. Uh, six kittens, it killed six kittens and two adult cats. Um, so, um, two of Smokey's siblings um, were ones that died in that. Anyway, so we were left with three. We're left with Smokey, this one here, she's absolutely gorgeous as you can see. We were left with Boo. Boo has been adopted. And we were left with Squash. Um, Squash actually very rarely comes out here. Squash spends most of his time um, in the cat room, not really coming outside. And so, Smokey has been vaccinated and she's also been sterilized. So she's all good for being adopted. And as you can see, she's an absolutely beautiful cat.